We are proud to announce the release of Raven 4.0 for the Avid DAW Pro Tools. Let me show you a few of the incredible features when using the Raven console specifically with Pro Tools. We would like to introduce the brand new Raven Classic console, which was designed from the ground up to provide an analog style mixing experience. Adjust all the faders in the session and switch between 16 and 32 faders on the MTI Max or 24 faders on the MTI 2 and MTZ. Swipe solos and mutes and even skip under the desired tracks. Control the pan knobs with multi-touch for quickly panning background vocals or stereo tracks. Switch to sends mode to adjust the send level for any tracks and use multi-touch to send multiple tracks to a reverb, delay, or parallel bus at the same time. The sends button in Raven 4.0 now display the names of the actual sends being used for easily detecting which send is assigned to which insert. A huge update in Raven 4.0 is the ability to see all the plugin names right in the insert area of the Raven mixer. Just press a plugin name to open it and then hit the button again to close the plugin or do a three finger tap gesture. To add a plugin, just tap a blank insert and type in the desired name on the keyboard. Tweak the settings and close it with a three finger tap. Tap another blank insert and add a plugin just by typing in the name of the plugin and hitting return. Finally, an amazing feature of the Raven Classic console is the fader groups. Press show vocals to show all the vocal tracks and make adjustments. Then hit show drums to access all the drum tracks in the project. To make locating tracks easier, the Raven external mixer has the ability to add custom track icons right below the fader. Just choose the icon and swipe in the box to add the icons to the desired tracks. Now anytime a track is created with that name, the icon will automatically be added. This saves so much time when mixing on large sessions. The Raven internal mixer gives users access to 24 multi-touch faders with instant response on its ultra-slick nano-glide surface. Control up to 10 faders at once and bake to more tracks with a swipe of a hand. The Raven internal mixer overlays directly on top of the DAW faders for seamless integration. With Raven, the touchscreen display is the control surface and syncs directly over the actual DAW. If users prefer to work in the edit window of the DAW, Raven 4.0 has included the Studio Mixer making it easy to have multi-touch faders in the edit window open simultaneously. Access the single fader to adjust the level of the desired track, or press the toggle buttons on the side of the studio mixer to change between 8, 16, and 24 faders. The brand new studio mixer in Raven 4.0 provides access to the most important features in the DAW. Users can control the transport, access memory locations, and use the top eight bash commands. The jog wheel functions, can increase and decrease the size of the audio tracks in the edit window, and with a push and hold, we'll switch into nav pad mode for XY control of the zoom functions, and users can switch between shuttle, scrub, or waveform view to increase the size of the waveforms in the session. With the bash command panel, users can create tracks, edit audio regions, and send complex zooming key commands to the DAW for quick workflow enhancements. Zoom the selection to the full screen and mute the regions with a single touch. Then crop the regions and zoom back out, all in the studio mixer. Raven 4.0 has all new SVG graphics, which allow users to resize the studio mixer to save screen real estate. In modern workflow, so much of our volume automation relies on small, precise moves like half dB rides on a vocal. The Raven solves this problem with a feature known as Fine Fader Mode. This mode quadruples the fader resolution and allows users to move their fingers a great distance while confining the actual fader range to 10th of a dB increments. This range can easily be changed or modified to a scale that fits the user's needs. The Raven Sends Mixer gives users access to 24 multi-touch sends with quick access to create headphone mixes or send the desired tracks right to the reverb and delays without needing to use the mouse. To add a plugin, 
I can just tap the Insert Assignment area and select the plugin. You don't have to turn any generic Logic controller knobs or map out any plugin parameters. Users can just load the plugin and tweak the actual controls as if they were hardware. Hide and show the different plugins with five finger pinch and expand gestures. The mouse and keyboard are a great tool for editing audio, but once users add in multi-touch gestures, it becomes way more powerful. With continuous gestures, users can pinch or expand their fingers to zoom in or out on the audio, or with a three finger swipe, resize the tracks in the same direction. Select a section of audio with a one finger swipe and then create a fade by performing a four finger double tap on the screen. Make all the tracks small again with a three finger swipe up. For easy touch access to smaller objects in the DAW, hold the command modifier and do a three finger double tap to open the smart tool. Make an adjustment and another three finger double tap to close it. Tedious tasks are easy with the Raven. Delete clips, add in fades, duplicate clips, and even mute audio regions, all with easy to learn gestures. When drawing in volume automation, your finger becomes the pencil tool. It is now so quick and convenient to draw on the desired changes. After drawing in the automation, you just can copy and paste it to more tracks with a three finger pinch and expand gestures. One of the most powerful features of the Raven software is the batch command system. The batch command system is your new virtual assistant and can execute up to 1,000 key commands, mouse clicks, menu selections, and MIDI messages, all from a single button. Here are some batch commands for creating track presets. With a single button, Raven will create eight new tracks in Pro Tools and name them Lead Vocal. Now here is a batch command for creating eight chorus vocals and four instrument tracks. And finally, here is a batch command to create four tracks and name them Guitar. With just four buttons, the Raven has set up an entire session and saved the users from manually entering hundreds of key commands. Batch commands also make comping vocal takes super fun and easy. First, enter the playlist view with the track lane up batch command, then select the section of the song to start comping and press the down solo and play batch command to scroll down to the next track, and then press move to main take batch command to start building the comp. Each time these buttons are pressed, the user saves three keystrokes, which will soon turn into hundreds of key commands by the end of the session. Batch commands can make tedious tasks really easy. These plugin preset batch commands make it possible to add our favorite plugins to the selected track with a single tap on the screen. Press the deesser batch command to instantly send a click to the first open insert of the selected track, and then search for the name of the plugin and add it from the list. Then press the sans amp icon batch command to add the sans amp plugin to the next insert, do the same thing to add fresh air to the next insert, then virtual mix rack to the next insert, and finally deverb to the last insert. There is no more need to dig through the plugin list or click a little small insert button to add a plugin, as the batch commander can do all of this for the user. Raven 4.0 comes with a brand new batch command editor and layout categories to make managing batch commands and workflow much easier. Using the batch command editor features, users can create and design their own console layout by just dragging and dropping the entire batch command panel or individual batch commands to the batch command toolbar. Users can create as many batch command panels as desired and even resize the panel to two, four, six, or eight buttons then simply drag and drop single batch commands from other toolbars to the newly created panel. With the new batch command toolbar and category browser, switching layouts is super easy and organized depending on the desired workflow needed for the current task. With the new Raven 4.0 pop-out tools, users have access to a multitude of Raven functions in a single consolidated toolbar. This new toolbar is filled with powerful touch tools designed and mapped specifically for your DAW to enhance speed and workflow without the need to reach for the mouse and keyboard. 
Using the jog wheel, users can quickly navigate through sessions by scrolling the wheel or switching to nav pad mode to gain XY control for zooming tracks. Each swipe on the nav pad can replace the need to hit 10 key commands on the keyboard. The cursor pop-out tool is useful for navigating and selecting between tracks and audio regions. The marker tool can be used to jump between the intro, chorus, and bridge with a simple tap. Raven 4.0 has also included the pop-out edit tools window to make accessing more tools even easier. Users can break and duplicate regions. Users can select multiple tracks and send them to a folder track, and even toggle the folder track open and closed with these simple to use buttons. The Raven toolbars also have quick buttons for zooming in and out of the edit window and even hiding and showing plugins. Finally, users can switch between all the possible tools and Pro Tools with the DAW Popout Toolbar. This popout is much easier to access since it is located on the bottom of the screen. The Raven software also comes with the Slate Remote. This iOS app allows users to automatically synchronize their batch commands to their iPhone or iPad. The remote can be great for stepping to the back of the room and gaining perspective of the mix while still gaining control of the transport and DAW features. This is great for engineers who are recording their own music in a separate area than the workstation. Thanks for watching and click the link to learn more.